Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer, and in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to manage continuous integration and continuous delivery for Docker and Kubernetes with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to manage the full life cycle for managing the code in Git repository to connecting to various Docker repository, both the Oracle one and industry standard one, using the Docker commands to build, publish your Docker images to those repositories, connecting to the Oracle compute environment and specifically to the Oracle Kubernetes engines, and executing deployment to those Kubernetes clusters using the kubectl command, all while relying on industry standards in this area. In our Git repository, we have a Docker file, a YAML file defining our Kubernetes environment, and a JavaScript file that defines our Node.js logic. We also have build jobs. First build job is called docker build. This build job is hooked up to our Git repository to the master branch and is automatically going to execute when changes are done over here. In the steps, we're going to use some Docker commands such as login to connect to our Oracle Docker repository, OCIR build, and then push an image under the name my Node.js image into this Docker repository. Over here, we have a set of all the Docker commands that we can execute as part of our build. A second job that we have here called OKE deploy is configured to hook up to the same Git repository and then use the OCI CLI step to securely create a connection to an OCI instance, and then use a shell script to execute cube control commands to create a new deployment in our environment. We can tie those jobs together using a pipeline. We'll start with the build job and then with the deploy job and tie them in together. Now let's go over and modify our code. Commit the changes into our Git repository. Since we changed our master branch over here, if we go to the project homepage, we'll see that the Docker build job has started to execute. Let's go over and, and watch it. It just finished successfully. If we go back to the job overview, we can see our pipeline is executing now. The first step started and finished successfully. The next step is going to execute a deployment to OKE. This step is now finished successfully. Let's switch over to look at the OKE control. This was the state before. Let's hit a refresh over here and look at the deployment area. Where we can see our new deployment that just finished over here. You're not limited to working just with the Oracle environment. You can also do deployments to other Docker repositories. For example, let's look at the Docker Hub job. Connecting to the same Git repository, we're using the same type of steps, but this time connecting to the Docker Hub repository, which is the default if we keep this empty, and then publishing a Node.js sample repository over here. In our project administration, we can create connections to repositories. Let's create a connection to the Docker Hub repository.
Now let's go over and run our build job for Docker Hub deployment. And job is executing over here. It finished successfully just now. And we can go to our Docker browser, switch to look at the Docker Hub repository and see our Node.js sample over here. In parallel, we can see the same thing. If we go to the Docker Hub page, hit refresh under the same user, we'll see the Node.js sample that was deployed. 